So the Motorola Zoom is a little bit heavier than the iPad, despite the fact that it's more compact. It's narrower in terms of, of this dimension. Um, but as you can see, Motorola designed this tablet so it could be optimized for a landscape mode, and we'll get into that in, in the software section of this video review. But what we're looking at is something, it has uh, 1.6 pounds, so it's a little bit heavier than the iPad, and, and you feel the weight. Uh, it, it doesn't sound like a lot, but you actually feel it when you're using it. So uh, we think a lot of people are going to be using this in their lap as opposed to standing up and using it. In terms of the design itself, you have this, what's facing you is a glass display, 10.1 inches, the very high resolution, 1280 by 800, so definitely higher than the current generation iPad, who knows what the iPad 2 will have. Uh, and you have no buttons on the front, and that's because everything is, in term, is there in terms of software. You have the home button, you have a task switcher, so it shows you most recent apps, and we'll go to that more in the software, and the back. So bottom line is that you don't need any buttons up front, but there are some buttons and obviously supports around this device. On the left-hand side, you have two volume buttons. Up top, you have a headphone jack and a SIM card slot, which you'll be used in, using to add a 4G card once the 4G LTE capability rolls out from Verizon. And on the back, you have a sort of like a soft touch finish. It gets a little grimy, um, but it's certainly easy to grip. And there's a little bit of a curve to the back of this device, which is kind of nice. And the Zoom has a 5 megapixel camera on the back, as well as a dual LED flash. And, you know, a sort of a controversial move in terms of having the power button in the back. You know, when you're using this device in landscape mode, it's not that hard to find by feel. But I think a lot of people would prefer to have it uh, up top or on the sides. And it's just a little bit awkward and, and jarring, you know, right out of the box. Yeah, one thing that we definitely appreciate about the, the Zoom also is that it has uh, stereo speakers. And these are definitely more powerful than what's in the current generation iPad. And... Uh, up front, you also have a uh, two megapixel webcam that you can use for taking pictures if you want to, but it's really there for video chats. So that's a quick look at the hardware design. Uh, on the bottom, we're going to have a few ports. One is for micro USB, which you use for syncing only. You also have a mini HDMI, so you can output whatever is on the tablet, including Angry Birds or videos, to a big screen TV. And you have a proprietary power port, uh, which is a little bit of a disappointment because we think a lot of people would want to use the same micro USB for charging as well as syncing. But I guess uh, maybe there's just not enough juice that can be supplied via USB.